Hey guys, so this is going to be a little fun video, my attempt at a cut crease. I've never done one before and I was actually on my way into this makeup look before I even started filming. I like completely forgot. Um, I was watching Shameless. So, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know about that show on Netflix or not, but this show is crazy. It's just, there's just so much nudity. I'm just not used to seeing all this nudity or whatever, but it's, it's a really good show. And you know, it just got extremely hot in here. Like, as soon as I started filming, I just got really hot. So I might turn on the fan behind me. But, um, yeah, so this is just going to be a talk through, I guess. Just me getting ready, trying to attempt to cut crease. But, um, I started, what I did, I did my brows first, which I'll be doing an updated brow tutorial. Um, and then I put concealer over my lid and I set it with my Airspun powder. I will be doing a, uh, video on Airspun versus, um, Sasha Buttercup. I've used both. I don't really know how I feel about either one of them yet. So, you know, we'll just see. But right now, I'm just doing my crease color, I guess you could say. I hope you guys can see this from that far. But, um, this is not a tutorial. This is just a get ready with me. So, my best friend's birthday is today. So, I'm going to her house later. So, I'm just trying to get a little, oh, somewhat cute, I guess you could say. Um, yeah. So, I got this. I got this little quad of eyeshadow from KISS. It's um, just a little black shadow. It's extremely matte, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to um, definitely be lining my lower lash line with this black. Um, I hope it's very pigmented. I don't really know yet. Um, so I think my next color is going to be a matte brown. This is a single matte. This is Revlon matte. I've had this thing maybe since 2011. I don't even know if it's any good, but it still works good. So. so you guys know I struggle with allergies. Like, allergies are just the worst for me. Um, you know, a lot of people be thinking I have a cold or I'm sick. I swear I'm not. I just, my like, I was fine because like, I've been taking, I've been taking Flonase. Like, Flonase is everything to me right now. But, you know, it still, it doesn't, you know, sometimes when, like, when I first wake up is when my allergies are the worst. Um... I don't know why, but it is, and I just, I just struggle, and today's one of those days, I haven't taken my Flonase dosage yet, but I will before I leave home, that's for sure. Okay, so now, I'm going to go in with this little nude color that I always use from this palette, it's called Canvas, oops, I just kind of like mixed it, I'm just going to use a flat eyeshadow brush, um, I'm going to use Canvas and Nectar, I think this cut crease is going to turn out absolutely horrible. Um, like I said, I'm sure it's just going to turn into something else, so we'll just see. The only thing I really don't like about these shadows is they can be kind of powdery. I don't like powdery shadows, but what can you expect from a brand of eyeshadows that you've never heard of? I guess next time I attempt to do this, I'll actually be watching a tutorial while I attempt to do it because going off of pure memory is not working out for me right now. So I just want you guys to know how terrible this is turning out. Like, I'm not even going to call it a cut crease anymore because it's clearly not. So uh, I guess I'm not going to attempt to attempt this again until I get some high quality eyeshadows because this powdery mess is just ridiculous. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Like, it, it looks bad. It looks absolutely bad. I'm not even gonna sit here and say, oh, it looks okay. It does not look good. It does not look good. It just does not look good. Now, this this um, this um foundation, I've never used it before. L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. It says, I thought that this is demi matte. Like, I thought this was all the way matte, but it's not. And I don't really think that this matches me that much. I'm gonna try and let it oxidize and see what happens. But before I do that, I'm going to use this Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. I don't really know how I feel about this primer because I feel like when I put it on, it's great. Like, it makes your face really great. Like, smooth and stuff for foundation. But I just personally feel like it makes me more shiny sometimes. Like, around my nose. I just wet my beauty blender. Oh, I got this from Real Techniques. And this color is Soft Sable. Um, I don't really think it's my color, but we're just gonna let it oxidize and just see what happens. Um, yeah, if 
I don't like my makeup after this, I'm just gonna wipe it off. So I just put a little bit on there. And, you know, just let it oxidize, let it sit. Let's see. I don't wear foundation like that. I really don't. Like this is, I'm wearing, I'm doing this video basically as a test to see how I feel about this foundation. Cause I need to use it at some point. So I'm just gonna dab it in. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. It matches pretty good. Once I let it sit out for a minute, it did. Now another thing I'm gonna try that I don't normally do is under eye concealer. I'm gonna use the LA Girl concealer that I use for my brows. We're gonna pray to God about this. Okay. Like I said, this is more of an experiment video than anything. So I'm gonna let this sit, and then I'm gonna come back and blend it out. All right, now I'm gonna blend this out. I feel like I've let it sit long enough. I like this color so much better than Fawn. Fawn was just doing too much. I felt like I looked like a yellow pastry. But let me be quiet because I haven't put on my Sasha yet. Yes, I like this so much better. So for contour, I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze and just sculpt up my cheeks. I hate washing my makeup brushes because I hate getting them back dirty. It's like an OCD type thing. Now to set my foundation today, I'm going to cringe and set it with the Sasha Buttercup. Now everybody uses this stuff and it looks amazing on everybody, but I just don't think it looks amazing on me. Like I said, I just probably just don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to use this Sasha Buttercup. And I'm going to bake or attempt to bake, I should say. We're just gonna let this sit for a few minutes. I look re absolutely retarded. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna wipe it away with my powder brush and I'm gonna use my um, Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder and Creamy Bronze fin Finish. And I just got this powder brush. It's the Ruby Kisses um, powder brush. It was $5.99 at my beauty supply store. I really wanted their, eye their eye eyebrow brush, but they were out. But it's super soft. So I'm gonna wipe this away with this powder. Um, I kinda wish I had a loose finishing powder, but I don't. I'm just gonna wipe it away. And it's getting in my eye. Definitely got some blending to do. I really don't know how I feel about this Sasha Buttercup powder. I just really don't. I mean, it sets really well, but I feel like I don't know. I just I feel like I look weird. What do you guys think? What do you guys think it looks like? I was told Sasha doesn't have flashback. I guess I'm gonna have to test it, but um, so far it doesn't look too too bad. I love my brows. I am loving my brows. Um, so yeah, it didn't, didn't turn out too bad, I guess. I'm gonna set everything with some with some Scandinavia finishing powder. So, but anyway, for bronzing, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Ebony Bronze Bronzer. I always use this. I might wear my curly wig. I bought another Dominican curly wig. All right, now that I have that done, my eyeshadow just looks so bad. I kind of wish I just went nude with the shadow and just, 
All right, so now um, I'm gonna do blush. I never do blush, but I'm gonna do blush today. This is my Elf blush palette. Right here. And this is what the colors look like. I just really got this palette because the colors were just so pretty. Right, look how pretty these colors are. Um, I'm gonna go in with this brush, another brush with white. With white, oh. Um, what color am I gonna do? I'm gonna do this like pinky color. Now, my favorite part, highlighting. I'm gonna use the Hidden Cosmetics highlight. This highlight is very similar to Becca Champagne Pop. Um, I've never used a Champagne Pop, but from what I've seen, it's a, a very good dupe. Um, I'm gonna do this under my brow, my brow bone, and I'm gonna do uh, my cheeks, of course. So I'm just gonna, it's just stuff everywhere. Mm. Take it out. And this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna drop it this time. My hands are shaking. Um, I'm just gonna put this under my brow bone just to highlight it a little bit. This stuff is just life. Oh, right. This stuff is it's so amazing. You don't need a lot. All right, so I'm pretty much done with my face, except I need to do eyeliner. And um, I don't know if I'm wearing lashes because I don't really have any. Um, yeah. All right, so my eyeliner looks terrible today. I did a terrible job on my eyeliner. Ugh. I'm so disappointed in myself right now. This whole makeup look looks terrible. Like I said, disappointed in myself. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna need some lashes now. All right, so, um, took me forever to find a memory card. I had to, my computer's updating, and yeah, it just took me forever. I did my eyeliner, I already said it looked terrible. I don't know how much of that you guys got, but now I'm just gonna lower eyeline my lower lash line with this um, because I really want that reverse smoky eye type of look. Okay, so I got my uh, under eye eyeliner. I didn't want to do it like too much, but this is, I think, the finished look. I guess I'm done. Like, I'm a, I don't know what lip color I might do. I might do nude if I can find my nude. I can't find my nude. Um, wet and wild lipstick anywhere I just really don't know what I did with it I'm just dying to wear one of these dark colors for fall but you know even though fall came the other day it doesn't feel like it's still freaking humid outside and 90 degrees so we wouldn't even know it was fall if it wasn't like we just don't know if it's fall it's fall but we don't feel like it so I think that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna do my hair some type of way and come back and end this video Okay, so I have my wig, my wig on now. Like I haven't worn a wig in so long now. I feel like I look stupid because I've been wearing my natural hair for a while. Um, just slick down my edges, and I didn't do anything else to my makeup. Um, I'm gonna add on a lip. I really want a nude lip if I can find my lip. Uh, then I will. But um, yeah, so this is pretty much the finished look for today. I think I might keep my wig on. I might take it off. I don't really know yet. Um, I just feel really weird with all this hair, even though, like I said, I should be used to it because I always wear big wigs, but when you wear your natural hair for a while and go back to wigs, it kind of feels weird. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me, this attempt at a cut crease that did not turn out right. None of this makeup really turned out right, but except my highlight is the only thing I really like <laughs> on this makeup and my brows. I sure just did a simple makeup look, just brows, highlight, eyeliner, and kept it going, but I didn't. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I hope you guys thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. So, I thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. Back my hair. And just pretty much fluff it back out. If you need to make sure, if you want to make sure your hair.